Wow. Okay, this was completely unexpected. Well, not completely unexpected, mostly unexpected. Uh, it was kind of a, a dream of mine to see Russell T. Davies come back to Doctor Who as showrunner, but can the show be saved? This is Neon. This is Clownfish TV, and this is very interesting. We're going to talk about the news that Russell T. Davies, the original showrunner of New Who, is returning to the program with a new doctor. And uh, yeah, Chris Chibnall is out. Russell T. Davies is back in. But is it going to be enough to save the show? I, I don't think it's going to be because Russell T. Davies supports the Timeless Children retcon. Uh, not retconning it out of existence, but rather he's totally cool with what Chibnall did with Doctor Who's origin, completely turning the origin of the Doctor on its ear and showing that the Doctor had many, 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 many incarnations before Jodie Whittaker. And the Doctor has been many different kinds of people. And the Doctor was like some little girl from some place that was murdered many, many times by the Time Lords. And they stole her, his, their uh, regenerative power. And yeah, here we are. Um, for me, that that was a huge like, yeah, F you. You know, I'm done with this show. But is this a Hail Mary pass by the BBC? Do they know that this show is effed up beyond belief? Do they know it's in such a, a, a sad state that they have to bring Russell T. Davies back to try to right the ship? I, I don't know. Here's here's the official BBC News version. Um, screenwriter Russell T. Davies is going to take charge of Doctor Who again. Uh, the show he helped revive in 2005, and a lot of people believe he was the best showrunner of, of Doctor Who. I mean, that was kind of the golden era of, of New Who was was his initial run and and uh, Torchwood and and uh, Sarah Jane, you know. Uh, Davies, who was the fantasy drama showrunner until 2009, will take over when Chibnall departs next year. I'm beyond excited to be back on my favorite show, said Davies, who resumes his role as the show prepares to mark its 60th anniversary in 2023. One of his first responsibilities will be to decide who takes over the TARDIS following Jodie Whittaker's exit. The actress is set to hang up her sonic screwdriver after one more six-part series and three 2022 specials. In a statement, however, Davies said it would be time traveling too fast to speculate on what happens when he returns. There's a whole series of Jodie Whittaker's brilliant doctor for me to enjoy with my friend and hero, Chris Chibnall. Uh-oh. Um, I'm still a viewer for now. Chibnall said it was monumentally exciting and fitting that Davies would be back in charge for the series' 60th birthday. Russell built the baton that is about to be handed back to him, the writer and producer continued. Davies revived Doctor Who in its current incarnation with Christopher Eccleston as the Doctor and remained for Tennant's time as the Doctor. Um, is it possible they'd bring David Tennant back? Could they? I mean, they've already... Look, the Doctor can be anybody now, right? And they've already set a precedent with the uh, 50th anniversary that the Doctor can revisit old faces. Is it possible that they would bring David Tennant back? I don't know. Uh, Moffat took over when Matt Smith took on the role, staying to supervise Capaldi's stint as the Time Lord. The success of Doctor Who's relaunch led Davies to create two spinoff shows, Torchwood and The Sarah Jane Adventures, R.I.P. Um, yeah. This tells me the BBC knows that this franchise is completely screwed, is completely screwed. And this is a Hail Mary pass bringing Russell T. Davies back. The only problem is he seems totally cool with the Timeless Child retcon. I, I have a huge problem with it. I think it, it was a huge F you to the fans. It's possible that Davies could could make it work or at least make sense of it or, you know, maybe undo it and be like, hey, this is all just a fever dream. The master was messing with you. It didn't actually happen. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You can never go home again, right? Uh, so this is coming from Screen Rant. Russell T. Davies already supports the retcon. Uh, returning Doctor Who showrunner Rus Russell T. Davies has expressed his support for the controversial Timeless Child Retcon, will he build on it? If they build on it and explain it or wave it away or something, I mean, the, maybe, 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 maybe they can pull this thing out of a tailspin. I don't know. Um, the Chibnall era of Doctor Who has proven to be a controversial one. Yeah, one that saw the ratings freaking nosedive 
dominated by a retcon that revealed the doctor is not truly a time lord after all. Rather, she is the timeless child, a being who predates time lord civilization, who became the base genetic code for every Gallifreyan who lived within the Citadel. Yes, they murdered her, him, them, multiple times to, to, to steal this uh, secret of regeneration. This rewrote decades of Doctor Who canon at a stroke, and fans are divided. Some are hoping it will be retconned away. Others are willing to wait and see what will come next. Uh, Chibnall will remain for an abbreviated season 13, followed by a number of specials that air in 2022. And uh, Russell T. Davies, who will make an explosive return to screens to celebrate the 60th anniversary. The big problem is the big problem is the timeless child. I mean, you could you could kind of wave away Jodie Whittaker's era, but the damage done to this franchise by retconning everything the way that they did uh, might be unforgivable for a lot of people. Um, yeah, he's been reluctant to make any public comments about the timeless child, but in an introduction to a prequel he wrote to his first Doctor Who story, Rose, he made an observation that suggests he believes the timeless child opens up a lot of storytelling potential, as he put it. But now the 13th Doctor has shown us doctors galore with infinite possibilities. All doctors exist. All stories are true. Indeed, there have been strong suggestions Davies is unlikely to retcon away the timeless child, but rather is inclined to build upon it. During the lockdown, he wrote the script for an animated short featuring David Tennant, in which he dramatically rewrote the laws of regeneration even, even further. Yeah, the doctor turned into a furry. The video starred Anna Hope reprising the role of Novice Haim, one of the cat nurses. Uh, dying of old age, she made a curious comment about her research into the doctor who she expected to pay uh, to pay her one last visit. I've heard many stories about him over the years, his hundreds of faces and forms, the men and women and animals and animals who have taken that name. And yet the one who comes for me is so familiar. This one is mine. The implication is that unlike the time Lords, the doctor can actually change species when they regenerate. They kind of hinted at that before though, didn't they? With Romana. Uh, in the original series, I think Romana had the option of turning into an alien, a different kind of alien, if I remember. Memory is a little hazy, but yeah. Davies' novelization of Rose embraced the Chibnall era as well because it featured an extended version of a scene where the Doctor's future companion Rose spoke to a conspiracy theorist who had become obsessed with the Doctor. The theorist photos included images of Doctors played by Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi, and Jodie Whittaker. There were others as well, a tall, bald, black woman wielding a flaming sword, a young girl or boy in a high-tech wheelchair with what looked like a robot dog at their side. Oh boy, oh boy, all this suggests Russell T. Davies will not be inclined to dismiss the Chibnall era or to rewrite the retcons, but rather he will build on the Timeless Child retcon. This would be the right approach. Doctor Who can't ignore the timeless child. Now, well, Doctor Who's ignored a lot of things over the years. They totally, totally could, could just ignore it. Um, I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. Uh, you know, if if it's like, yeah, that was the thing that happened. We're not going to reference it again. Um, Russell T. Davies is back. The stories are good. The doctors, the doctor is good. Whoever is playing the doctor, and it's a solid show. I might come back. I'm, I'm not, I, you know, I, I might come back. We'll see. I mean, that's, that's basically it. But this to me is like, this feels like the BBC is admitting failure. I mean, even if they, even if they don't retcon away the timeless child, the fact that they had to go back and bring in uh, the most well-respected Doctor Who showrunner to try to fix this mess tells me that they know it's in, in dire straits right now. They know. Because he, he said before, I'm, I'm pretty sure he said he had no desire to come back. You know, this is kind of like Lucasfilm. Look at what happened with Lucasfilm. You know, after what they did to Luke, they brought Luke back in The Mandalorian. Uh, it's a great fanfare. And they gave people the, the version of Luke they wanted. It's possible the BBC could turn Doctor Who back over to Russell T. Davies and he could fix it. Maybe. Or at least make it a little bit better. I mean... You know, beyond, you know, complaints I have about Chibnall or whatever, my, my biggest complaint with this new version of Doctor Who is it's boring as hell. It's a boring, boring show. It's edutainment. It's preachy. It's ham-fisted. Now, look, you can argue that uh, Russell T. Davies got his politics into 
Doctor Who, and I think you could argue that successfully, but he did it with a, a defter hand than what we've seen uh, current year BBC with Chibnall, where it's like so in your face, you can't miss it. So uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, very interesting development, though. And I feel like more and more, some of these studios, some of these companies are starting to walk back stupid, horrible decisions out of necessity. Because at the end of the day, the BBC's got to sell some merchandise, don't they? Doesn't, doesn't the merch sales of Doctor Who help the show? And 13th Doctor merch is not selling. It just isn't. So we'll see what happens. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, you know, again, look at all the weird stuff happening. Like this is happening. Um, you know, the situation with uh, Luke coming back in the Mandalorian, uh, Shira, you know, they, the re re, -re retconning Shira. I do think the Amazon show is going to be terrible, but it does, it does feel like maybe the pendulum is starting to swing. Maybe. I'm probably being overly optimistic. I know I'm being overly optimistic, but uh, it's a step, right? It's a step. Now, whether or not the show's any good, eh, we'll have to wait and see. But until then, I have no desire to watch any of Whitaker's episodes. I'll, I'll just wait for Russell T. Davies. We'll see where we're at. Going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.